Hello and welcome to my channel Tools for Ascension by Wolfgang and I'm Wolfgang. And my gift to you today will be a guided meditation where we will be clearing off kinds of resistances like vows and curses that negatively affect your life. And you know, I always contemplate on how I can use life force and gifts for the highest good. And here we go, so take it or leave it. Um, you know, there is no overshadowing theme to this clearing here. In my work with clients, I constantly come across new types of spells and magic and codes and programs, you know, or you might say an astral technology. And you can only, you know, I mean, I don't clear this, you know, my guides and other beings clear this, you know, but this can only be cleared once it's recognized and it's called out, it seems. Mm -hmm. So coming is this guided meditation where we we'll shall go over a trail mix of toxic nuggets. And uh, first of all, we will find out if you are affected by certain issues. Mm -hmm. And um, then, you know, we ask um, divine powers to have them cleared. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> then after that has been cleared, you know, we're also going to be recharging our stuff, you know, with updates and uh, good energy. And here you may ask the uh, Wolfgang, uh, what is the good stuff? <laughs> Please let us know. Well, to be oversimplistic, the bad stuff has to go before the good stuff can come in. You can see it in terms of chi, you know, energy, um, vibration, you know, it depends on the perspective. I just call it good stuff. I like slang, you know, it's very descriptive and funny in most cases. Not as distance and removed, like the most uh, intellectual paradigms. <laughs> he can talk that way too. <laughs> so, um, but you know, only please um, accept what resonates with you, um, you know, and reject, you know, what doesn't resonate with you. Um, and also, um, this kind of meditation is, you know, designed to space you out. So please, no driving or operating heavy machinery. And so, you know, um, you can either sit down in office chair, uh, which will align you better with your earth axis, and uh, most likely you're going to be stay more aware of what is going on, And um, but many people prefer to lay down, and you can get a much deeper relaxation, and you can go to sleep afterwards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And uh, some people actually uh, right-click uh, the video image, and then you can set it onto a loop. Of course, I would put it on a lower volume so the subconscious can pick it up, and you know, you get a lot of stuff done um, in the night time like this. Not just on the, you know falling asleep nicely, uh, but then you know having a guided. You know, people feel really relaxed after this. And so um, right now. Um, you know, um, this is a free will thing, um, so the higher beings love to help us, uh, but uh, they are not allowed to violate our free will. You know, the beings in service to self don't really mind <laughs> that. Um, you know, but um, so the higher beings love to help, so you, um, that's why my prayer, or you could say intent, and um, you don't have to repeat my prayer on intent, just say Amen or nod your head, you know, or agree somehow in your mind with what I say. You know, it's your life, I'm not your daddy, your guru, I'm not using my tapasya and austerities for you. <laughs> you know, so you got to be sincere, you know, and agree with this, and then it takes about five seconds before you can feel certain reactions you know, in your force field. So we asked Absolute Source and our Spirit Guides and High Self you know, that everything that happens in this meditation here that we're going to do and from this meditation here, that everything works out you know, for our highest good. 
and is also in divine harmony and for the most benevolent outcomes for mm -hmm. and that will um, we be, you know, um, be able to go to the highest most auspicious timeline mm -hmm. and we asked also that um, we and our whole place you know first of all a bubble around us you know of love and light of source that transmutes all the darkness within it, the ignorance into love light and beauty Amen. Mm -hmm. Smile, 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 smile. And then also we asked for a bubble of love and light um, to be placed around, you know, our house, apartment, cell, <laughs> camper, your car, you know, tent, a meditation space, you know, wherever you are now. Amen. And we also, ooh, yeah, this feels good. Oh. <laughs> Let's just smile and be grateful and perceive the shift in your energies. Ah. <laughs> oh, this feels good. Um. Now we asked our spirit guides and Mother Earth, and Gaia, that consciousness it's called nowadays, and our own highest self, um, to please root us properly, you know, into the Earth grids mm -hmm, that are best for us, and to please clear, you know, any sabotage, any blocks, any trauma, any spells, curses, entity, attachment, implants, rings, <laughs> plates, um, snakes, mm, there's a lot of stuff, nanos, whatever it is, you know, that prevents um, our earth connection, you know, we like to have that cleared now, um, 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 and start breathing in through your legs and through your root chakra, mm -hmm. inhale the earth chi all the way into the into your head, into your shoulders. And on the exhale, you send your chi with a smile into the earth. Deep breathing all the way out and all the way in. Back and forth. Mm. Mm. And as you're receiving, and some of you may actually be feeling the love coming into you, or the energy, please be grateful. And you can even, you know, say, I love you, you know, in your mind. I would keep your mouth smiling, and start speaking in your mind, and, you know, do strong athletic breathing. Mm -hmm and have tongue at the palate that will balance your brain hubs. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you. And now we also ask to be connected to our subterranean aspects that are of love and light, that are approved of our high self, if it's for our highest good. Um, one, two, we uh, should be uh, creeping in. Mm -hmm. There's this whole shift in your energy now. Mm. And again, there may be another wave of well-being, of love in your body. Mm -hmm. Most people will feel it in their back, but you know, it could be anywhere. <laughs> And we also give them permission to liberate any programs in us which we disconnect from Mother Earth. So people that are depressed and don't want to be here in the struggle of the 3D dimension, you know, they tend to disconnect from Mother Earth. And then the life force goes down and your breathing becomes shallow and then you are depressed. Mm -hmm. Not enough life force. You know, everything is gray and negative and you frown. So, 
to be in a higher state and to be happy, you know, deep breathing, good connection with Mother Earth and smiling in gratefulness. So we ask that any downer programs <laughs> be disconnected from us and cleared. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, amen, amen, amen. Uh, especially any negative thought loops. Like I can get another one, you know, I mean, I don't want to give <laughs> examples here, but you know your own negative thought loops. Please clear those and replace them, dear spirit guides and high self and subconscious with the most positive ones. Mm -hmm. amen, amen, amen. And we ask for an even stronger connection with our sub-social memory complex, means subterranean social memory complex. Um, hmm. yeah, let's call the unicorns in. Um, some of you have good relationships with the unicorns. So um, we ask them to put uh, beautiful, loving rainbow colors around our hearts. Um, um, um. Hmm. And smile, and you probably feel an expansion in your heart. Mm -hmm. And we ask the T golden frequency of source. You know, for the healing of our love, of our heart, please be brought in, and that an inner sanctuary bubble be created around us, and also be filled with this golden love. Now, Amen. Mm -hmm. And put in rainbow fires <laughs> around it and thistles to keep everything nice and clean and protected. Um, and into our inner sanctuary we also invite the rose, the lotus and the Tulsi holy basil, holy basil mm -hmm, into our inner sanctuary for their love vibration and their guidance and protection. And make sure you still have your tongue at the palate and smile and start inhaling um, you know, through your crown chakra. Let's see as if you inhaling the love of Milky Way galaxy and imagining her about at the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Pull her love into your feet, into your hands, into your whole body and on your exhale send your love with your breath. Up there, Amen. Um, and um, he asked that a cleansing of our celestial chakras please happen now. Mm -hmm. Clear any vows, curses, reverse crowns, crown of arms, skull caps, plates, and dark energy, mm -hmm. um, ships, implants, entity attachments like arconic attachments. <laughs> squid beings and so on, mm -hmm. also gray and, you know, uh, Nunaki as well as Alpha Draconian implants, uh -huh. find all the move on Cleo, continue to finish and take perpetrators to the courts of divine justice, amen, amen, amen. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. And just, oh yes, it's quite strong. <coughs> you know, um, at this time here, if you just watch this video fresh, um, this is a maximum attack um, of the dark side, you know, onto all the light workers. <laughs> you know, um, I had a lot of uh, magicians suddenly go nuts and, you know, project dark energy onto me, you know, for no so-called apparent reason in you know, all kinds of stuff. You know, so the dark side is pulling, you know, out all the stops here. 
So you probably, if you ask for it, you know, you will have a lot of purification right now. So um, we ask that we be connected to our star nation of love and light that are approved by our high self. Amen. Mm -hmm. Smile as the energies are coming in. And we're given permission to clear all the sabotage unto our spiritual awakening that they can see from their perspective. And as long as it is for our highest good and in general in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Um, and you just pull in their love and you send your love back with your breath. Deep breathing. Mm -hmm. Gratitude. Mm -hmm. And we also ask our star nations and our spirit guides to clear all the dark templates of not wanting to connect to the high self or to channel, you know, or those templates that prevent us, you know, from um, seeing, you know, what we are supposed to see. You know, these are all kind of templates of spiritual ignorance. We give permission to have those cleared, even if we give permission in other lifetime. Amen, amen, amen. Mm -hmm. Given permission in other lifetime, we mean sometimes we had so-called bad gurus or bad authorities. We may even have been part of a dark organization and, you know, gave them access to our energies and, you know, this was always taken advantage of, so we like to have that cleared now. Amen, amen, amen. Mm -hmm. And we also asked um, that um, new templates be installed, you know, um, that prevents, you know, anything to be re-implanted. You know, make these changes um, permanent. Amen, amen, amen. And also, um, while this is going on, please take any entities or with their programs, you know, um, and templates to the courts of divine justice. Um, so, you know, we don't let them get away with this. <laughs> it's our social responsibility to make sure the buck stops here, I would say. And also, um, you know, there are things like in Jin programs that are meant to block our gifts of prophecy and channeling, gene attachment, gene programs, and we cut it anyway. And uh, we like to have those also permanently removed and so change so they cannot be back, put back into ourselves. Um, uh, um. Smile mm -hmm. and project this love into the heavens. Running love with the heavens. That really spaces you out. <laughs> Which, um, you know, is a good thing, I think. Um, of course, you're not then much in the material world at this time, and that's why no driving or operating heavy machinery. Okay, so I think it's time now that we ask that our latest and best Stargate codes be activated for us. And other codes that our spirit guides now should be activated now for our highest good, whether it's DNA upgrade, or whatever it is. Um, um. <coughs> oh, yeah. And smile and appreciate and observe. You know, generally I feel waves of energy flowing over me or away from me. You know, dark energy away, good energy coming in. Many times this is of course correlated with your breath work. Now we ask the spirit guides to clear any overlays in curses and technology programs 
from our social media and also from our personal expressions like writing and um, other things, you know, where things can get lost in translation. You know? But these programs or curses, you know, or whatever you want to call them, they can change the vibration, you know, of whatever thumbnail you have, whatever you're representing. So it, it is overlooked, you know, by those searching, you know, for this information. Or it is, um, you know, overlooked and not recognized by those of your same vibration. And um, this also can be applied, you know, to your love life or your business life. Mm -hmm. So you like to, you know, have these, um, let's say, uh, misrepresentation of your personal expression, you know, cleared. Amen. Amen. On our social media and our whole social persona. Mm -hmm. In all timelines, in all dimensions, in sub-dimensions, wherever we are manifested. And as, um, you know, the uh, false vibrations, you know, are cleared, we ask that our social media be filled with our authentic vibration, what we really are, and then enhance and amplifies those, so that those that are matching you know, this vibration will find it. Amen. Amen. And while this is going on, then also please clear and repair any holes and parasites in our social media. You know, dark portals, and you know, whatever you could describe this. Amen. Amen. Alright, and if you're supposed to be an influencer, we also ask our spirit guides in High Self, and the angels of love and light, especially Metadron, because this is a tag issue, you know, to also clear any vows of anonymity, you know, and vows to work behind the scenes only. And I had an incarnation as a Knight Templar, and others too, where these kind of vows were taken and they are kind of hindered, you know, um, being publicly recognized. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not after fame in this incarnation. <laughs> there is, if you, you know, read my autobiography, you know, watch the video, who is Wolfgang? You know, I made a clear decision that I'm not after fame. <laughs> it's just not satisfying enough. Mm -hmm. So, um, we also ask that any vows and contracts of solitude be cleared mm -hmm. in this connection. You know, if you're supposed to be in the public, you know, this would be not of the highest service anymore. So, you like to have that cleared. Amen, amen, amen. And while this is going on, we also ask that any booby traps and limiter programs that have been placed throughout our timelines, you know, by Anunnaki, Draco, Grace, or Dark Wizards, you know, or other beings. Mm -hmm. I like to have those cleared, and then responsible people taken to the highest courts of divine justice. Amen. Strongly recommend you agree to this, and I will explain. So, first of all, there is a type of astral technology that's done by higher dimensional beings to humans that, when they reach a certain level of love or spiritual upliftment or of consciousness, when they reach a certain vibration, then um, you know a program gets triggered, maybe an entity gets triggered, and then um, catastrophic <laughs> or other distracting events will happen. You know, and you probably have experienced this many times in your life. 
you know, you get to a certain level of happiness, of joy, of completion, and then bang, you know, the rug is being pulled under you. Bad things are starting to happen, right? That's exactly, you know, what this is meant for. <laughs> so you like to have those cleared now. Um, mm -hmm. And um, so, you know, some of them are triggered by vibrations, you know, and then all hell breaks loose. And some are also placed into your timeline. You know, of course, they know about astrology, I mean real astrology by a proper calendar. Not the Gregorian one, if you know what I mean. And, um, you know, so there you can place certain booby traps also of dark energy being released to you, of entities attacking you. You know, there's all kinds of ways of doing this. You know, and then again, you know, when that time comes, you know, <laughs> a lot of inauspicious things start to happen, you know, and it's not that you are helpless there, you know, it's just like, um, <clears throat> you know, um, it's going to be, you know, a, a struggle, so to say, you know, if you have weaknesses like alcoholism or kleptomania or sexual addiction, you know, or anger, so these things, they will kick out big time, <laughs> you know, they trigger, you know, you want all your addictions and other pain, you know, at this time, you know, again, all hell breaks loose and, you know, you crash. So we like to have those programs cleared to Amen, Amen, Amen. And again, make sure you agree, you smile and just hang in there while this is clear. There's a lot of pain there, especially around the heart. There are a lot of emotions around all these. You know, getting the rug pulled under your feet. And that's, yes, you like to have those cleared pretty much, pretty, pretty, pretty clean. Your high self, dear subconscious. We don't want to turn this into cancer, right? <laughs> cleared. Um, and, um, and, um. So, you know, um, a lot of, uh, well, I would say all of you here, <laughs> you know, are star seeds. You know, many of you also have been working here with the Earth Project, you know, for many, many lifetimes. And many, many different capacities, not only as humans, but also as, let's say, Egyptian gods, as pharaohs, as kings, as warlords, or as slaves, whatever. You know, engineers, inventors, uh, magician. And uh, now, um, you know, then this thing happened, you know, with <laughs> the dark side taken over here. And, uh, you know, and a lot of people were called and sent back, you know, into this time here um, of the shift, you know, where humanity kind of went um, robotic. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of star beings, you know, are incarnating here. Mm -hmm. It's kind of um, it's just similar to the human wave, you know, which, which um, you know, the Normandy was invaded at the end of World War II. Mm -hmm. So you incarnate and you run into machine gun fire, so to say. Mm -hmm. And you incarnate and because you volunteer to intervene at this crucial time, in cosmic history, you know, to fix a timeline, you know, um, that went south, so to say. And, um, you know, and so we had to agree, you know, to certain things, you know, to be even able to incarnate. You know, it's kind of like a bad contract. That's the point I mean with running into machine gun fire. So, uh, you know, many, uh, many, many, People got plugged, you know, with the, by the dark side, with attachments and all kinds of things, you know, um, to like sabotage them from the very beginning, you know. So we asked our spirit guides, the guardian angels, uh, our high self and an absolute source to clear any attachments, any limiters, any reversals and cords that were unlawfully put onto you before, during, or after your birth, 
you know, or in other incarnations. Amen, Amen, Amen. And again, take um, evildoers to the courts of divine justice, so this does not continue anymore. Amen, Amen, Amen. And of course, in many lifetimes, you know, we made contracts to give our power away, whether it was to our slave masters or to evil dark magician lords, where we were apprentices, you know, or certain dark covens. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we like to have these uh, contracts cleared and our power returned to us now for this incarnation or any other incarnation where it can be retrieved. Um, 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 you know, and we asked that our heavenly lawyers go through the contracts and see you know, if they can be cancelled. And we also like to have any disempowerment codes, you know, that maybe we agree to or not agree to clear from us. Mm -hmm. um, um, um. And, you know, let's be very specific here. You know, there are implants or program into us that prevent us from connecting to high self that either don't want us to connect to high self or they create an energetic disturbance in your crown chakra like a cloud of darkness or certain dark thoughts that kick in and again triggered by certain vibration. Mm -hmm. So we like to have all these codes that prevent us to be always connected with high self cleared. Mm -hmm. um, And now, uh, as Halloween is coming <laughs> around the corner, um, let's talk about cannibalism. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> and how it affects people. So, I think it's commonly known by now that if there is an organ transplant, you know, the um, recipient, you know, will be affected by the donor's personality. You know, whether it's a heart, or something else, you know, I mean, it has been, you know, widely reported, you know, that the personality of the donor kind of overshadows you know, the other person, you know, at least influences this. So this just shows in principle, you know, that there is a consciousness attached you know, to the organs and it, you know, transfers in some way that's maybe not completely understood nowadays by modern science. But it transfers. You know, and here we have, <laughs> of course, the root cause, you know, for cannibalism. You know, most decent anthropologists, you know, will say that um, cannibalism, like in Borneo, you know, etc., was mainly done for um, ritual, for magical purposes, you know, and not so much for nutritional purposes. Of course, nutritional purpose is there sometimes too. Uh, so, and um, now what happens? You know, so this is what I found out through past life regressions. Um, when somebody eats your heart, you know, it's going to affect your love life. You know, it's going to affect your heart in other lifetimes. You know, and much of your heart energy, of your love, is going to the other person. And they can even you know, um, kind of disguise themselves with your love and personality and with your energy. So, um, if somebody ate your eyes, you know, they might be able, you know, especially if they're skilled, you know, to see through your eyes and to spy on you. And of course, you probably have problems with your third eye vision and, you know, with your physical eye vision. Now, with the brain, um, we found out that, um, you know, somebody ate your brain there, a mental capacity, you know, get enhanced. You know, the, these were like high end Harvard professors in past lifetimes did that. And um, nothing to reflect in this lifetime. You know, as we're saying, they're super smart. 
Um, and um, so, but it um, infected you know, the victim in the next lifetime or another lifetime, you know, with uh, mental issues, you know, just mental health issues. And uh, well, you know, same thing applies to the reproductive organs and other, uh, you know, body parts. And so we ask now that wherever, you know, um, our organs, our body parts, you know, get, you know, consumed by others or bound by others, um, that their magical purposes, you know, um, be kind of cleared now and that whatever got stolen from us you know, be reintegrated with us, you know, all the phantom aspects be recollected. Even like Osiris, you know, in many myths, so-called myths, you know, the body parts get spread all over. So we like to have a reassemble uh -huh, of all the parts that have been disconnected from us. You know, castration, whatever it was. Um, um, um. And those that did this to us take him to the courts of divine justice. Amen. And you know where we and our ancestors did this to others. You know we like to have that clear too. Mm -hmm. And any victim, you know, let's say both sides of the fence, you know, for us and our victims, our ancestors' victims, we like to have them all brought to the Arcturian love healing and to Sanjin temples. You know, most likely the did not go to the heaven due to the trauma and the dark vibes. Mm -hmm. So we like to have them liberated now, mm -hmm. you know, through processes of forgiveness, etc. Those guys know what to do, bring them into the heavens. And we ask the angels to clear all the baggage that's still there from them, their trauma, vows, promises, revenge, implants, courts, whatever it is. Amen, amen, amen. Now, if you're getting to mutilation, this brings me to Hara Kiri. You know, Hara in Japanese understanding is the center of power, and you know, of physical power, your solar plexus, basically also your diaphragm. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, Kiri kind of means killing, and you know, you're pulling like a, you know, a sharp uh, knife, you know, th from left to right or right to left. Mm -hmm. uh, through your solar plexus and um, then maybe you know not you done or whatever you know chops your head off to make this less painful this was an honorable way to die in the Budo culture now what I found you know whoever did this has definitely stomach and power issues you know social power issues in consecutive lifetimes you know, to, to voluntarily destroy this power center and uh, yeah, I don't think any of them ever made it into the heavens either. So, um, you know, we ask that all those aspects you know, of us, our ancestors, you know, as well as those beings that we forced to commit harakiri, you know, as elders or whatever, <laughs> you know, or other side of suicide, you know, other forms of suicide, voluntarily suicide and self-mutilation, let's include this here, you know. Whether it's, you know, a Chinese minister being forced to prostrate themselves or, you know, you're forced to cut your own throat or, you know, whatever that is. Yeah, we like to have all these karma cleared, you know, as much as possible and the stuck entities that are stuck on the lower assholes due to this heavy burdens, you know, be liberated, you know, shown the ways of love, forgiveness or to the Arcturian love healing and to send in temples and then sent to the heavens. Amen. 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 And then, of course, while this is going on, you know, we install the power in our solar plexus, you know, for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent. And 
now we ask the spirit guides to spin all our chakras and energies in the proper light affirming direction. Amen. And also to clear any connections, intrusions, you know, from false light realities and shadow realms into us. Amen. It's always good, you know, to do a <laughs> clearing like that. And please clear this, you know, all the way to the highest soul aspects. And also clear our ancestral body from this kind of trauma that we mentioned before. Amen, amen, amen. Ooh, yeah. And so um, you might know that um, dark entities like to attach, you know, to the dark chi, to the trauma that is in us, you know. Uh, well, it's kind of similar if you're bleeding, you know, then flies <laughs> come and try, you know, to suck this off, you know, so similar way. Um, you know, dark spirits, you know, live off your pain, of your trauma. So we ask that all the entities that have attached to our trauma, to our wounds, to the curses and implants, mm -hmm, and trying to perpetuate this also, you know, to be cleared now. Mm -hmm, and brought to the arms where they will be appreciated and happy and not doing any harm to us. Amen, amen, amen. Mm -hmm. And there are also, you know, similar entities have been placed unto us, you know, from dark force saboteurs, you know, to disempower us. <sighs> like, you know, loading you up with kind of parasites and things like this. So you like to have this clear too, and again, perpetrators to the courts of divine justice. Mm -hmm. And while this is going on, please do another clearing on any binding devices, vows, contacts, tech and AI influences and interferences that can be cleared now without us having to personally witness it. Okay. And as we did these clearings now, um, we also please clear any karmic residue that's left over, you know, that are kind of stuck anywhere in planetary and personal light bodies and grids and system, you know, and then collapse and release those realities. Amen, amen, amen. And then start open those light portals, you know, through which we can receive our support, strength, and guidance. Amen. And now this is a huge favor we ask him from our spirit guides and from source. But you know, we ask that to please start liberating all our soul fragments that are still stuck on the dark side. You know, they had the experience, now let them perform and ascend. Mm -hmm. And go through all the contracts, you know, with the dark side, you know, and find out what's illegal and then clear them, let's help them. Mm -hmm. Amen. And for our own ascension, also bring our energies that have been scattered or taken back to us and integrate them into our soul. And also ground them fully back into our body. So part of enlightenment is like, you know, that more and more you manifest, you know, the qualities of your soul, you know, in the whatever body you are. Of course, a human body can only hold a certain amount of the soul, has a certain capacity. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now we ask to please reconnect um, these aspects mm -hmm. that can be retrieved, you know, or cleared with their soul and clear all the blocks and regulators from the dark side that are resisting the reconnection. Mm -hmm. um. Oh, yeah. So now um, let's come to the good part. <sighs> um, so, um, just a focus on your heart, mm -hmm. and we asked Absolute Source to create a portal in your heart, and in your imagination, you know, we start um, then drawing, you know, from the bottom of our heart, you know, the love from Source into this reality. So we ask Source to open this portal in our heart. Uh -huh. It's about two, three. Mm -hmm. Now just start pulling the left, you know, from the Source, from the bottom of your heart into, you know, this reality. Mm -hmm. Just get it flowing. Don't worry where you send them. The breathing, mm -hmm. and we ask that any blocks between us and source be cleared as much as possible. Mm -hmm. And now on the deep inhale, fill your whole heart to the brim with love and source. And then send it on the axle into your right leg, as if you're blowing up the huge balloon. The next inhale, fill yourself up to the top with love, smile like an idiot. And on the exhale, you fill your left leg with the source love. And then fill your heart again. And then fill your right heart. And now fill your heart again and send it into your left arm all the way into the fingertips. And now you fill your heart again and you send it out the spine all the way to the top of the head. Out. And now, you know, of course, on the inhale, every time you feel yourself, and now you blow out the back of your heart. Send as much wide and far away as you can. It will give you that feeling of angel wings. Now on the exhale, blow that love out the back of the head. Mm -hmm. And next time you start blowing out the love at the back, your lower back. Mm -hmm. Wherever it hurts there, a lot of people hurt there, just send that love in there to do some good. <laughs> um. mm -hmm. And we are source and our spirit guides and high self mm -hmm. to give us a healing, also for our high self aspects and updates. And we ask that um, everything, you know, be integrated and protected with the latest divine codes. Amen. And if you lay down and wanted to sleep, we ask that you have deep healing dreams. Amen. 
And if you're sitting up and want to have a productive day, we ask that you be fully grounded, that your soul is grounded more and more into you. Mm -hmm. And that you have a wonderful day where you again connected with your high self. Be full of power, love, and joy. Mm -hmm. And one, two, three, you're fully grounded, full of energy, and back in vacant day consciousness again. Well, welcome back to this reality. I hope you had a good time, you know. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the session. Of course, I'm available for private session that knock the socks off what you experience now. You know, just look at the information below. Um, if you had found experiences, um, yeah, please share with us. I read, you know, all the comments and uh, give an answer and comments you know, to and whatever request you're having. And uh, if you hang on and just keep looking, you know, at the video titles that coming in the credits, you know, see if any of them resonate with you. And then, you know, um, when it's time for you to go to another inner sanctuary or spiritual spa and treat yourself, you know, listen to one of those, you know. And as always, I love you a long time. Namaste.